How attractive are city, county, and state geospatial data to cyber criminals? We asked experts at the Black Hat USA conference in Las Vegas last week. Those are systems that affect a lot of customers. Uh, they are usually connected to the outside uh, world, either through the internet or through other networks. And there is quite a few reasons why an attacker would want to get inside those networks and affect those assets. Bob Hansman of WebSense didn't see GIS as a unique target, except in cases where the data was connected to something else that may be of interest. Um, I don't see a big change other than targeted attacks, and that's the real issue. We're now seeing threats that might target infrastructure, that might target power systems. Uh, we've already seen threats that were targeting a specific research device. We've seen threats that targeted uh, specific medical devices. So anybody using specialized equipment does have to deal with targeted threats. William Gardner of Bromium saw GIS as a critical subset of overall enterprise security. Well, certainly GIS uh, tracking information is, you know, a critical component uh, across the board. It's, it's ubiquitous in today's environment. So ensuring that that, that information remains confidential and uh, is not subject to manipulation by hostile third parties, I think is a, is a critical aspect and a critical subset of the security challenges we're seeing today. We went to the ESRI user conference in July to speak with geolocation specialists, and at least one of them felt that users were becoming more confident in the security of GIS applications hosted in the cloud. Uh, back office, mobile, uh, citizen facing portals, things like that. Um, and, you know, for a while there were agencies wanted, public agencies wanted to have their data inside their, in, in, you know, behind their firewalls. Um, and I think there's a, a trust uh, in the cloud nowadays and uh, security is, has really been beefed up with, with internet technologies in the cloud. And I think they're starting to adopt it more because of the IT infrastructure. Public sector network administrators must be vigilant to keep GIS and internet platforms secure as these technologies play an ever-growing role in facilitating communication and collaboration during emergency management operations. They do not want to, to make a mistake. Uh, when, you, when you've got something like 9-11, uh, Benghazi, uh, Boston Marathon bombings, if you have any kind of delay in making a decision, or if you don't have the right people involved that are making the decision, um, that's, you know, that, that's going to create a, a slew of issues, uh, worst case being deaths of uh, innocent civilians. And so they, they want to make sure that everybody's looking at the same information at the same time, uh, and they want to make sure that people can sort through what, is, what has become an increasingly issue of information overload. With all this information, crowdsourced, Twitter feeds, maps that are available online, um, while that has the benefit of making it easy to get to the data, it can inundate the human brain. For more technology news, visit GovTech.com.